Hi, this is Jacob with MarketingPlaybook.co, and today we're going to be talking about columns, particularly columns on the AdWords GDN side. Now, I wanted to actually do a video here talking more about columns in depth for our, our AdWords training guide on the display side, just because columns have great insight in them, and oftentimes when I go inside somebody's account, I, I see that they're they don't even have a lot of the columns turned on at all and so so quite a bit of people aren't aware of all the features you can add in to AdWords to really get that full picture view and they think that automatically AdWords is showing you everything that's valuable to you and that just isn't the case so I'm inside my campaign and we have ad groups and what you're going to notice over here is you're going to notice the columns tab so you can click the columns tab and then go under modified columns now I'll go over some of the modifications here that I've already done on, on this particular campaign and if we look here I have this uh, display impression share now this campaign's been paused for a while so it's not actually going to show me anything by default yours is going to show this on the display side the the less than 10 percent and that is because it just doesn't have enough traffic volume to know but this is great because if you're bidding and, and let's say you're you're profitable on your campaign the amount of impression shares that you're getting on the display site so if you're only getting let's say 20 percent of the impression share that tells you that there's 80 percent of the traffic out there for what you're bidding on that you're not getting currently and you might not be getting that because your click-through rates too low or or because you're, you're ultimately not bidding high enough and if you were to bid higher, you'd probably get a lot more of that tra that traffic overall. So as you optimize, you might be able to bid higher to help gain more and more of that, that total impression share. So that can be a really valuable metric to add in there. Now, different columns or column options are going to show up depending upon where you're at inside, inside the actual interface. So right now I'm under Add Groups. So I'm going to have different column options than let's say if I was under the display network. So definitely under each and every tab that you go into, play with the columns and take a look at all the options you have inside there for reporting. So here I'm showing all conversions. I don't have a conversion value actually tracked inside this campaign uh, just because of the way it was set up and and controlled there was no way for me to actually get a real value and it was very fluctuating so so in this case I don't have it there if you were an e-commerce store you'd have that total conversion value there for you and that can be gold because you can see how much you're actually uh, doing in sales or versus how much you're actually spending so those are other things that you can add in there the click to conversion rate cost per, per conversion and let's look right here here's the relative click-through rate and this is a column I tend to always add in and we covered this in a previous video and the relative click-through rate can kind of play a pretty big performance overall in in your overall quality score for the GDN network and like I said we covered that in a previous video so let's go ahead though and let's jump into the columns column and we're gonna go modify columns and take a look at what's in here so here we have performance and we're going to see that by default some of these are already are already going to be moved over. Now so we have clicks right here. We don't have the average CPM. This is going to be average cost per thousand impressions. It's a good way of tracking uh, your, your your cost per thousand clicks if that's if you're going for uh, not necessarily clicks but impression share for branding purposes. So so that could be valuable for some individuals out there. And your average cost per view, average cost, your interaction, interaction rate, a played video too. So this is going to be more for video campaigns. Here we have our conversions, which uh, most people are going to have their the number of conversions. Their let's see, um, all conversion value is one that I like to add in. Your cost per conversion is one that I usually have in there. My conversion rate, and those are all good to have in a hey, phone conversion value if you have it attribution can be pretty pretty interesting and especially for for larger advertisers out there to really help you track your ad spend to say hey 
Just because somebody didn't click on your ad doesn't mean that that didn't help to lead to a conversion down the road. And, and for my larger campaigns especially, I have attribution on because I'm spending enough to where it actually is going to matter. Now for a lot of small companies out there, if you're a small guy and just advertising in one, let's say, one city, attribution probably isn't going to do a whole lot of value for you. So it's just, just not something that you'll necessarily need to focus on. But as you start spending more and more, it definitely can have a, a pretty good impact on your campaign just to see how things are flowing. Uh, you have your social metrics, call details, competitive metrics is another one. And this is where you can see the um, search impression share. And this is for the search side. And then this is going to be for the display side. And this is where I also got the relative click-through rate in there. And then... If you have your display impression share, you really don't need your display lost impression share because you can kind of determine it from, from okay, if I'm getting 20% here, then that means I'm, I'm leaving 80%. If I show this and it says I'm losing 80%, well, that means I'm getting 20%. So here we have the attributes. And I think this is going to play a bigger role down down the road for me especially with active bid adjustments just because there's going to be the ability to bid adjust more down the road uh, inside adwords otherwise a lot of the these this information in, in here doesn't do me much good it, it can for certain individuals especially the labor roles for e-commerce stores next we have the performance active view and this is going to be more for video advertising if you're doing video advertising which I'm not currently um, inside this campaign, so it really doesn't do me much good to, to turn it on. But let me show you a trick in here that seems to be, uh, if you have a question, okay, well, what, let's say, what is this? And you're unsure. You can go ahead and click it. It's there, right? We can keep it there. We can hit apply. And then if we look here, oh, I got to move over just a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. All right. And if we look here and we hover over this, the question mark, you're actually going to discover, okay, well, this is this is what it means. Action view average CPM is the average amount that you've been charged for a thousand viewable impressions. Well, hey, that's good to know, right? So so if you're unsure, hey, what does this do? Yeah, you can add it in and just, just kind of see. And then you can go back in, modify columns, and go ahead and scroll down and remove that just because I don't want it in there and carry on. So here's uh, Google Analytics, which is nice. So you can include such things as your bounce rate in your page sessions and the average session duration in seconds. And this can be pretty valuable if you if you notice some keywords, for instance, aren't necessarily profitable and then you look at it and say, well, people are bouncing right away and the average page session um, isn't, isn't that long, then you can kind of determine that those keywords might not be relevant or your landing page isn't, isn't relevant to those particular keyword searches and you need to improve it. And next up, we have a change history, which can come in handy if you want to show campaign changes, especially in bids. So if you changed your bid and traffic really started dropping and you're like, well, what was my bid before? You can actually go and say, well, you know what? I'm going to add in bid changes so you can see what, what uh, uh, the change history was. Uh, Gmail metrics, and this is for going to be just for Gmail campaigns. We have uh, YouTube, uh, which, which is great. This is great information to have in there if you have a, a Gmail uh, campaign active. And here's a YouTube uh, earned actions, which I've it never really used just because I really don't get a whole lot of earned, even when I promote videos. So it, I haven't found it to be all that valuable for me. And then you have custom columns where you can actually add in custom values. And for most people, they're not going to uh, be be utilizing this at all. And I, I've only seen a few individuals do it. And those are usually for e-commerce stores and usually larger e-commerce stores that seem to be customizing. Um, otherwise, most people aren't, aren't going to need to. So we are still in um, the same ad group. I just, I, I, well, I went inside the ad group and now we're under the ads column so these are actually let's just go over real quick so you can see we're under the ads column over here and let's go over and so you can see everything so so here we're going to have have it where you know it's really really valuable to have a lot of this information in there such as my conversion rate going on so you can see what ad copy is outperforming other ad copy even though this one wasn't evenly split 
but I can see stuff like this where it had no conversions at all. And, and you, you, you know, having this information in there really, really helps you determine, okay, what ads do I need to cut and, and what ads do I need to keep? So knowing not just the click-through rate, but if it's profitable or not. And what you're going to find is as you hop around, so I went from ads to display network, as you hop around into different different sections, you're you're going to find that uh, you're you're going to need to re-add and modify these columns in, in the different sections that you're visiting. It's quite common for if you were to add in conversion rate somewhere else, it might not necessarily show or all the conversions won't necessarily show. So you'll have to go in and add them in under each and every one of the these different different tabs that you're in. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, just keep in mind it, it, with with display, go through the columns. You should already know this from your from from doing search, but definitely on display, you really got to take advantage of all these column features and add in um, the metrics that way you can actually optimize your campaign. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.